Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is another video about making 3D patterns. And if this looks really rough, but I took it with a micro lens to get some effect. And these are going down and these are coming up. And this would be a very cool effect on a business card holder, a key bob, or anything. Uh, very easily done. This is one of the easiest 3Ds I drew. So we'll just get that picture out of the way for a second and I'll just show you how I drew it. I drew it with squares. And very easily done. We are going to draw it a little, a little bit bigger. We're going to make a... Let's make it a... We need to make it an even deal. So we'll make it one inch by one inch. You need to immediately change it. I draw everything in hairline. You do not want a hairline and you can make it black. And then put your nudge distance on one inch and control D and move it over. Control D. We're going to do six of them. Now what you would do is take every other one and turn the outline so you would right click your pen on white. In this particular one, I'm going to try gray. Go here, right click gray, right click gray. Now we take our very first one and go up to the contour tool under effects and contour. I've already got it set up. It's going from black and I want it to go from black to white on the black ones. And then, so we're going to do the other one. And do the other one. Now for these, we're going to go to black. Because we've started off with a gray. Same thing here. Click on that one. Apply. Click on that one. Apply. Now, we've still got our nudge factor set on one inch, control D and move them down and then do this right here, mirror it horizontally. Control D, mirror it horizontally. Control D, mirror it horizontally. Control D, mirror it horizontally. One more, control D, mirror it horizontally. Now you got the opposite effect on each square. And then you can make it, I would group it, go up to range and group. And then you can make it any size you want. We're six by six. We only want three by three. And I just recreated that other pattern again. And there are several things you could do with this. You could play around with it. You could nudge it over because in this picture, I've got a pretty definite line because of the white right here in this picture I mean it does not I took it this with a macro lens so it's really zoomed in um, and this is alder wood and then I would also I put a black outline around it just kind of give it some feel so and do that since we've got all these groups together we'll just hit P and put it in the center of the page we'll take control key Make that three inches by three inches. Change it to a black half point line. And then hit P and put it in the center of the page. And then I'm going to hit F4 and it brings up everything on the page. And there you have it. You've got a black outline around it. This is probably the easiest one to make. And I think it's a very cool effect. I mean, if you made, if you make uh, business card holders, uh, anything somebody would stick in their pocket, even a key bob, that would be very cool. And you could power clip this into a, you know, a name or a number or anything or a shape, round shape. You know, if you had a round key bob, you could, power clip it to a round key bob 
let's just do that real quick. Let's make a let's make it 2.5 by 2.5. And if I had my ratio locked, I wouldn't have to do that. And then click on that and go to range and power clip, place inside frame. And then you could play around with um, you know, edit the power clip and put it into a um, now one thing I did lose, I lost my border. So you can go right here and turn your border into a black five half point line. And you'd have a little border around it that would be black. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.